Hello guys, Miggy Shibi here and today's video it's fish and the red eye slash shark so um, first thing first we uh, this currently uh, fishing event it has four location where you can uh, fish two location is during the day and the other two is during the night time um, right now as you can see um, I'm using my uh, free to play account uh, that I'm currently trying to fish uh, I'm just trying to level up it so you can get a lot more uh, fishes and also use a powerful rod. So um, this is the first location. Uh, the beach one is low level, and all the four locations have different levels uh, recommendation. And I currently, currently, because I'm pretty low on fishing, that's why I'm on the lower uh, spot. And then we got the daytime board uh, on board fishing spot which is on for level 15 to 20 or what is 16 to 20 something like that and then we got a uh, nighttime on the beach is recommended to be level 11 to 15 then uh, on the boat we they recommend uh, about level 21 to fish there and i have done some lot of tests with uh, different uh, bait uh, to see which one is kind of effective to uh, use one uh, to use and farm a lot of ribbon uh, ribbon fish and uh, slicer shark so uh, i'm gonna show you this uh, image here that what is made by me i've done a lot a lot of, uh, of tests using 100 baits uh, on different location uh, different baits too um, it took some while and it took a lot of time, but hey, I'm done with it. So yeah um, But we're gonna look at the Top left one the, because that is uh, that location has the best uh, Rate or the best way to farm a lot of ribbon fish and the slicer shark So as you can see uh, the bait I used was a mackerel uh, all the baits here is a low tier one, not the, the medium or the high tier one. Use the low tier, so everyone can, every, everyone can use it and buy it because it's really cheap and it, you don't need to farm uh, farm for it. So, um, if you guys really want a lot of slice, uh, the red eye slicer shark and uh, flying ribbon fish, you should use mackerel. Uh, on the oh, and uh, you should also be on the location daytime on beach because that is the best way to farm a lot of uh, rare fishes there.
for watching this video. I hope you guys like this guide. It's, I hope this can is a short guide, uh, very easy, easily to understand. And for the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to the best way to farm the lantern and the seahorse. So yeah, stay tuned, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.